your favorite uh, methods. Can I have a volume down a little bit, please? Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, maybe. Hope you can still hear me. You live on both. Okay, we're gonna take. These are sunglasses, just as a prop, because I want to say wanna, hi to Facebook. Uh, hello, Facebook people, too. In case you didn't see me yet, I've been talking a little bit already here because we got Instagram on and we have to have a special camera for Facebook. But hello, welcome back. <laughs> guys I hope a lot of you are following today because it's a good time to talk about iced tea so these sessions are going to be every Saturday at 5 30 p.m. from now on um, and I will be talking about all different tea topics and you're welcome to you know interact ask questions during the session um, comments are welcome and uh, you could also Send me questions um, via email ahead of time um, or at any time because I would love to have some suggestions about, you know, topics. And um, I kind of have a feeling I know what most of um, tea people want to know, but everybody's different, so you never know. Okay, let's take these off so I can see something. Hello, hello. I was wearing hat last time I was doing the um, iced tea uh, presentation. Okay, so how it all started. Um, in 1904, uh, Thomas uh, Richard, Richard Blinchton, merchant selling tea at St. Louis World Fair, noticed that people were not interested in hot tea samples because it was really, really hot. So he invented a way to cool it off. Um, it was really strange because he actually borrowed uh, lead pipes from merchant next to him and he flipped the containers with tea and then he ran tea through these pipes and generally, um, eventually the tea became cooler. Now, there's other people who also meantime invented iced tea, but he's kind of like the most known. So if you ever go on Jeopardy and there's a question about 1904. Uh, this, um, I'm trying to combine all this into 30 minute segment. I hope it's gonna work. Uh, you know me, I like to talk, so we'll see how it goes. So, hello, hello everyone. I don't have my um, other tablet here, so I don't know who is on, so I just want to welcome everyone um, with all my heart. Um, nice day in Pittsburgh. It's a little cooler today, but we had a couple really, few really, really hot days. So iced tea would come really handy. I guess we all think about drinking cold drinks right now. The um, there's a couple really basic ways of making iced tea. First, you can make um, iced tea uh, using a cold brew method. And this is something I brewed maybe four hours ago. I started brewing. Um, I This is really nice gadget from Adagio. It's made of glass. It has a nice long infuser. So uh, this is fruit tea. It's, um, I believe it's, um, oh, I know what it is. <laughs> it's this one here. It's called Summer Love Lemonade. And it has... Um, hibiscus, pineapple, orange peel, lemongrass, lavender. So I made some of that. And all you need is a proper amount of tea and uh, cold water. That's it. And a few hours. Um, the best way to do it is actually uh, start at night. Um, you know, put it in the fridge and then you have tea ready to drink in the morning. So here's summer love lemonade. I would love to try it, actually. Ah, okay. So, very easy. Now, remember, um, if you make a pitcher like this, which is two quarts, which is two liters for people in, on other continents, and I know Christina is on the other continent. Hi. And uh, so, the recommended amount of loose leaf tea would be 
approximately four tablespoons per one quart or per one liter mm -hmm. of cold water. The other method, which is much faster, is to brew tea in hot water. And what we do, we actually get smaller amount of water that we're using hot water. Uh, we use about half of the amount that I used for cold brew. And we just basically boil water and um, use the same amount of tea, about four tablespoons, two quarts. This is uh, Takeya ice tea maker. I made a video a few days ago explaining how to use it. I'm going to go over this one more time. This is like one of the best products out there. I really love it. We have one at home. We have one here. And it also um, fits very well in the fridge, in the door. So I brewed this a little earlier today. And this is, if this was the green tea, to be careful because you still have to follow uh, proper steeping time and temperature because you're steeping with hot water. Uh, this was fruity, so hot water in at least six minutes. However, if it was green tea, for example, like, for example, let's see. Oh, I don't have, we have this tea called Tea on the Beach, which is awesome. I guess you're supposed to drink it on the beach. Um, follow instructions for proper steeping with hot water. And uh, once the steeping is done, which is usually between two and six minutes, you will remove the infuser. And this is really nice. I was organized at some point. Yeah, because it comes with a drip catcher right here. And then all you have to do, just fill this up with ice. Now this, um, some people might want it a little stronger, uh, some people might want it a little more diluted so you can kind of figure out later how much you want to use. Again everyone, welcome to my first um, session in a series called Tea Saturdays Live. Well, assume it's full. Then we um, close that. And we just kind of do swish, 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 swish. And tea is ready. Tea is ready. I'm sorry, I'm making a lot of noise here. Hey, I know you guys like contest, and I know a lot of you <laughs> enjoyed that contest straw contest so I'm gonna do it again today by popular demand uh, whoever is gonna guess the number of straws here in this cup or whoever is the closest is going to win to do $25 gift certificate so uh, keep guessing throw me some numbers uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna announce a winner today but we're, we're gonna try at the end of the session so keep guessing 25 bucks is waiting for you. This, um, so once again, you can do a cold brew, which is super easy. You just use tea. It's nice to have a big, you know, pitcher and nice big infuser, but you can also do it faster. Let's say you have just came home and you really want to have that iced tea, you don't want to wait for hours, then um, you make double strength concentrated tea, um, about one quart of hot water, or not so hot for green tea, uh, steep for anywhere from two to six minutes, and then you just uh, remove the tea, add ice, do this, and tea is ready. I have ice tea too. Can I Assistant, can I have size 4 tea bag? Oh, I have them. Never mind. I got it. I'm more prepared than I thought. Hi, Danielle. <laughs> so these are the... Um, you can use 
large infuser, of course, to steep, or you can also use, if you don't have a gadget like Takeya or some other IC maker, you can use these nice big tea filters. These will definitely hold four um, tablespoons of tea. Uh, disposable ones. So after steeping, just take it out and uh, whether cold brew or hot brew. So these are great too. Tea filters. Woohoo! I do have some. Uh, I want to show you some of our teas before I go to the next method. Uh, I already mentioned Summer Love Lemonade. All these teas are on our website. You can buy them online at bluemonkeytea.com. And um, they have, they're in a section called Summer summer Teas. But they, okay. The other tea that's like uh, just arrived, we we just got this, um, these, these awesome mocktails. So these are teas that you can make cocktails with and they taste awesome without alcohol. Uh, whatever you want to add to it is your choice. But uh, for example, this is pina colada, pina colada, and that's uh, fruit, herbal, caffeine free, rose hips, hibiscus apples, coconut, pineapple, um, and it says non alcoholic because some people might not eat it. And I have something else here. It was not really my choice but I was very intrigued by this tea it's called Kentucky Bourbon and it has um, also black tea in it it's slightly smoky and um, yeah just like bourbon but no alcohol I think this would be really neat idea for a lot of places uh, bars or restaurants for people who don't necessarily want to drink alcohol but they would like to enjoy drink like mocktail made with tea just throwing in peach bellini. That's another one. Okay. Straws. Guys, whoever is going to guess the number of straws in this cup is going to win a gift certificate. So keep guessing. Uh, you can, you can, uh, hi Nina. You can do a uh, couple guesses and if whichever gets is closest, you can do 10 guesses. I don't care. Okay, so we've got Takeya, and uh, there's another really... Sorry, I wish my arm was longer. This works really well, too. Um, I used Butterfly Blue Pea Flower Tea because it's spectacular. It's uh, herbal. It's actually like like the name indicates. It's uh, from Butterfly Blue Pea Flower. And um, I used uh, Ingenuity by Adagio. This is the bigger size specifically uh, designed for iced tea. And once it's ready, you put tea, water here. And once it's ready, it drinks into the cup. This is, you can make it darker too, by adding more tea. It's called Butterfly Blue Pea Flower Tea. And we have it right here. Butterfly, beautiful. Now, it's very interesting because um, let me show you what happens when you add a little bit of lemon juice there. It actually changes the color. Okay, I'm going to take one straw out. So you, but don't worry, I'll, the count is written on the bottom, so I don't know. So look what happens. Woohoo! <laughs> you want to have a great party? Well, we're a little limited now, but you can still have a party for a few people or, you know, garden party. These are spectacular. Also, everybody's going to say, ooh. <laughs> you can tell I'm having fun. 
and it's from these mocktails. I didn't drink anything else. So these are uh, great for uh, gender reveal parties too. Right? Okay. I always run out of room on this table. Okay, these are here. Uh, some other great teas for, um, so we have cold brew, hot brew, um, ingenuity, which you can use both for hot or for cold brew. Um, the other way to make iced tea is by using French press. Well, French press is mostly used for coffee, but a lot of people will use it for tea, especially teas like rooibos or yerba mate that have smaller particles because, and this is how you make your tea in the French press. So you place your tea leaves here, then you put hot water or cold, if you make cold brew, let it steep, and then push the planter down. So French press is also a very nice um, gadget to use for making nice tea. And this will be if you make a cold brew or coffee, cold brew coffee, you just have to prepare it, you know, a few hours ahead of time, for example, at nine, keep it in the fridge, but don't push the plunger yet until it's steeped or brewed. I like coffee too. So, <sighs> magic, magic. Okay, what else do you want me to talk? Any questions? Luciana says, next Saturday is my daughter's 10, 10 years birthday party and she's going to have a small gardening party. She loves your teas. Uh, I see you said just for, I would definitely go, Luciana, I would definitely go with that uh, butterfly blue pea flower tea. So, and also uh, we have tea called Lady Hana and I think you a lot of you already know that it's a delicious fruit tea. We carry it all year round, and it has all sort all different whole fruits like raspberries, um, strawberries, apples, uh, blueberries. Bingo blueberry, that's a good one too. Hey, speaking of interesting tea, teas, this is one of our summer teas. It's called ginger beer, and it's super good. Ginger root, apple, pineapple, black tea. So there's a little bit of black tea in it. Ginger beer. And all-time favorite, um, lemony cool mint. This tea is caffeine-free, and it has, um, of course, lemony, little minty flavor, but also has a little bit of licorice, and licorice gives it the nice sweetness. So this is uh, lemony cool mint. Um, we are open, um, Lucien is asking about whether we're open. We're open <clears throat> Monday through Friday, um, 11 to 7, Saturday, 11 to 5. We are closed on Sundays during summer. And always open on the website, 24-7. You can order for... I have wrong size, but shipping is only $5, or you can order for pickup now. You go to the uh, checkout page, and at the bottom, you just write, type word, pickup. So we have it ready for you. You just have to remember to pick it up during uh, business hours. Okay, contest is going on. Whoever's going to guess or be the closest to the number of straws in this cup is going to win a $25 gift certificate, which you can use online or in the store. Um, additional tips for making iced tea. A lot of time, especially when you're using real tea, like black tea from Camellias and Nancy's plant, like black tea or green tea, especially with black tea, um, you will notice that after a while, it might get a little cloudy, especially if you keep it in the fridge. Um, nothing wrong with that. It's called blooming, and um, it actually means that he's of the really, really good quality. And um, 
that if you want to serve it clear right before serving pour a little bit of hot water in it and it will clear it will clear it up uh, you can also use sweetener a lot of teas which are herbal fruit teas they don't need any sweetener because they're sweet by itself but if you want to use a sweetener you can use um, honey sugar we have can I see Demerara sugar, please? Um, it's a very good, quickly dissolving sugar. Um, but a lot of teas, trust me, you can drink without anything. And what's better? Like, it's so healthy. It's good for children because they don't have caffeine like these here. Let me show you one other tea without caffeine. Rhubarb spritzer. How about that? That's very unusual. Apples, hibiscus, elderberries. Rhubarb, rhubarb, rose hips, pink cornflowers, rhubarb spritzer. Okay, Mitchell is going to show you the my favorite sugar. It's called Rep La Perugia. Very quickly, please, because we have a little. I'm trying to keep these sessions down to half an hour, not to bore you. The other thing you can add, of course, is. Uh, fresh fruit um, or frozen frozen fruit is good too because it will keep your tea cold or especially in winter if you want to have some iced tea and I know that Americans are crazy about iced tea <laughs> and they drink iced tea all year round in fact the statistics are that 85% of tea drinkers in the United States consume tea in the form of iced tea, actually, 85% of tea consumed in the United States in the, in the form of iced tea. Can I have popsicles, please? Popsicles. Spices. You can also add ginger, lavender, um, hibiscus, flowers, or spices. Uh, you can freeze your tea on um, ice cube tray, and for example, you can make pink tea or you know whatever color the tea is and then let's say you can make blue um, ice cubes and that's gonna enhance the final presentation of your tea for your own pleasure or for um, you know the ah and oh from your guests this is another great idea I thought uh, making popsicles with iced tea and here they are this was actually made from a blue pea flower tea, and this one was blue pea flower tea with uh, lemon. I think this was um, Lady Hannah, and this was green tea. Um, actually, I think it was citrus mint green tea, so great stuff. Great stuff. Uh, sugar rhyme. Okay, I won't have... Uh, much time left to show you what else you can do but uh, one of my favorite teas is and I showed it during my previous session is uh, orange rooibos can I have orange rooibos I like to add uh, orange peel to my orange rooibos so you can always um, orange peel will have a lot more flavor actually than um, this is my Florida orange rooibos. This is, we sell this tea all year round. It's excellent, hot and cold. And uh, now, if it was orange rooibos, it would probably have different color. But let me make a little presentation. This is really neat because once you turn that uh, top, you can pour. Martha Stewart here. Hello. Or Rachel Ray. Do we have lids? Oh, we don't need lids. There's another pretty tea. Let's say you could, of course, orange will go with orange garnish will go with any tea. But I specifically, li I especially like it with that Florida orange rooibos. Um, you can also put some mint 
in there. I took this off our balcony today. We're actually growing some um, beautiful lemon mint from Charleston, South Carolina. Laura, who was our guide tour, um, and then she uh, presented us with the high tea after the tour in her house. Um, check my uh, pictures. I think I may, I'm going to post a video about this. We were in Charleston a few weeks ago, and she gave me a plant. She just went to her garden. She ripped the thing with uh, uh, roots, and she gave it to me. It's, she said it's a special um, peppermint that only grows in that area. And, yeah, it's very lemony, and it's going to make beautiful garnish. Speaking of um, peppermint, of course, it's um, very easy to grow and amazing add-on to tea whether hot or iced um, especially with black tea Morocco mint is another green tea that can be definitely used for iced tea which is gunpowder green with mint let's make this a little prettier here some blueberries lemon now if I remove a couple more straws I'm going to throw you off guys <laughs> with the count. I'm sorry and make it look splendid but yeah I took three straws out so we have to add them back on to the to make sure that count is right. Popsicles. Ooh we have some raspberries. How about here? Wow we can have a party. And of course you know you can garnish with the um, rim with the sugar. Um, you place a little bit of sugar on the, like a little saucer or small plate and you moisten it. I use one of the color teas, so the color of the sugar will be different. Then you put the cup upside down through this and you have nice um, rim. Um, I also fell in love with these um, copper mule mugs. They keep your drink nice and cold. <laughs> very elegant too so we can make some let's put summer love lemonade in here if i missed something today um i'm sorry i'm trying to uh fit everything in a half an hour format oh i know what i missed can i have a uh, bottle up uh, and matcha please okay so this is my new mug there we go put the mint Ooh, nice come on have some tea together uh one last thing I want to mention for those of you who want to drink tea for health benefit. You already know what matcha is. Matcha is a powdered green tea. And the uh, traditional method is to whisk it with a little bit of hot water. Not so hot, about 180 degrees. However, um, for summer, the easiest way to use matcha is um, you can just put a little bit of matcha in the water bottle or your travel mug but it, it should be a well it should be a bottle that you can close tightly and then just shake it up and you have this is the easiest way to use matcha and you can use cold water to do that um, so we have people guessing how many straws are in the cup um, and uh, Whoever is going to be the closest is going to win a $25 gift certificate. And I will post the winner um, on after I'm done here with the session, probably in about an hour or so. So keep checking. Uh, we don't have any bottle. No. Okay. But uh, generally, this is, this is matcha, powdered green tea. Very healthy, loaded with antioxidants, and uh, a little bitter <laughs> because of that. The more antioxidants, uh, the more catechins, the more bitter teas. But it's not 
I mean, a lot of people love it the way it is, but there's nothing wrong with adding some sweetener or honey to it. We also sell these neat little packets of matcha. Um, they're specifically uh, packed for using it with narrow uh, bottles. So imagine you have a water bottle and then you just uh, drink a little bit, put some matcha in, close the cup and shake it. So you can have cold brew. I talked about cold brew method, very easy, just placing tea in cold water and steeping, let's say, overnight in the fridge. Hot brew, which is you use, you make double strength hot tea and then either fill the pitcher with ice and it cools off immediately or you can just pour over uh, cups, tumblers filled with ice and um, you can make the same idea with uh, Ingenuity, the ice tea maker where you put it on just on the top of the cup, you steep it here. Um, you can make hot brew or cold brew very easily in a French press. And even if you just want to have a one uh, mug of iced tea, one cup, one tumbler, then all you have to do is just use less water. Use half of the water that you would normally use for steeping a full mug of tea. Steep for, don't over steep, don't take too long. Remove your tea after prescribed time. And then you just pour over ice or just add ice to your cup. You might also have too much tea. Let's say you made a full big pot of tea and you have some left over and you're not sure what to do with this. Just keep it in the fridge and use it later as iced tea. So this is just very quick, 30 minute session. I'm going to be wrapping up. Uh, thank you for joining me. My name is Margaret from Blue Monkey Tea Shop in Pittsburgh. And I will be doing these live sessions every Saturday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I would appreciate if you guys throw me some questions, comments. Uh, it seems like 30 minutes might not be enough time for me to answer during this session, but I think we'll see how it goes um, in future. I've done longer sessions in past, so we have um, right now uh, trying to do 30 minutes and uh, to the point. <laughs> Don't talk too much, Margaret. So, thank you for joining me. Drink tea, stay happy, stay healthy. See you next Saturday.